Hi everyone, would you like to know a way of how to cover wings and fuselages that's extremely cheap and very strong? Then stick around. I've used this method for several years on uh, fuselages and wings and here's my Lancaster wing which I covered many years ago and it's still as strong as the day I covered it and you can even use it on fuselages. Um, this again on my Lancaster. This is my hurricane wing and when it's covered uh, with a light rub down and then I usually go over it with either sanding sealer or non-shrinking dope and it gives it a nice smooth finish and then there's a couple of ways you can actually finish which I'll show at the end of the video uh, both of them look really good right so let's get started so what what we're going to need for this is obviously brown paper and this is this uh, stuff you normally just wrap parcels up in which has got a shiny side and a matte side and then you will need some uh, white glue uh, in the UK I think we call it PVA and I think in the US it's I think it's called Elmer's glue um, and what what we do with this we just thin it down now if you've ever done any wallpapering at home then you can do this it's it's, it's fairly simple it can be a little bit messy um, but if you follow my steps here you'll end up with a really strong wing so I'm covering the underneath of the wing first and all I'm doing is marking the shape out and then I'm going to overlap it on the back edge because uh, it's quite thin you'll never get it to stick on a very thin thin edge so you need to overlap it and now I'm just cutting cutting it out I'm, I'm marking the, the wing it's uh, the paper itself so I don't get it mixed up uh, I've done that before and had to start again <laughs> try not to use a recycled paper I've tried it and it just doesn't work as well uh, so I ended up getting uh, some normal you know parcel brown paper now, when you set off to do this make sure you've got enough glue mixed up and you've got enough materials because what we need to do we need to do the top and the bottom of the wing in in one session because what can happen as the uh, paper dries it can warp the wing and I've actually seen this happen a friend of mine had a Lancaster and he did his wing and he did the bottom one day and then the top another day and he ended up with a warped wing um, and uh, he didn't fly very long and it crashed uh, so all I'm doing here is just cutting some of the reliefs on the paper so when it folds over uh, you haven't got too much uh, to cut out because once it's wet it's a little bit more difficult to cut I mean you can still do it but Right, so I'm marking the top out now, and this time we're going to overlap it at the at the front. Uh, so it only has to overlap probably about an inch or so, about 20, 25 millimetres. And once it all dried, you, you can barely see the overlap. And what I generally do is use some uh, lightweight filler just on the edge and, and give it a smooth down. And you can you never know it was there. There's quite a few ways to do this. Uh, if you have a, a look on YouTube, people do it um, different ways. And one way you can do it, which I've seen some people do, is they soak the paper just in water and apply the glue to the wing and stick it on that way. Uh, but the method I've used, I've used it for quite a few years and uh, I've never had any problems with it. One of the things you'll be quite surprised of is when you start to apply the glue, it wrinkles up quite a bit and you think oh, I've made a right mess of this um, but when it dries out you'll be amazed how good it looks there uh, have been a few times I've done that and when we get towards the, the end stage of this you'll see a few wrinkles in this wing and you think oh <laughs> so now we're applying the glue to the wing and all I do with the glue is, is mix it with half water half glue and it gives it a nice consistency very similar to sort of the consistency of milk and that spreads nice and easily then so we've covered the wing itself on the bottom now what we need to do then is uh, go over on the brown paper and make sure you have got the shiny side down so you want to do this on the matte side and then it soaks in better then if you try and do it on the shiny side it won't uh, it won't soak in as much right so we're just about ready to attach the paper to the wing and by doing the bottom first like this all I do then is 
just put the wing uh, on it. And the marks I made for the overlaps are quite handy to line it up then. And then it's just really then <laughs> like wallpapering. Try and get it as smooth as you can without going to, uh, uh, too mad on it because you, you'll end up ripping it. Uh, so just get it nice and smooth and as many wrinkles out as possible uh, but they will dry out you know if you've ever done any wallpaper and you've seen wrinkles you quite often you go back and you have a look and they're all gone so this is where we need we did the overlap um, and I'll do it this way so the airflow as it comes over the wing won't try and lift that overlap so when the top piece goes on that will lay on top of that and the same underneath as I'm doing this, I'm normally adding a little bit more glue to the overlap area just to make sure it sticks. And then once we've got it um, on the wing, because the paper will expand, you know, with the glue, um, what you find it might be just slightly oversized. So basically, all I'm doing is trimming it, and I'm actually using a pair of wallpaper and scissors for that, which work. And you can probably see all the wrinkles on that wing then. Um, and if you do end up with any wrinkles at the end, what what you can do uh, is just once it's dried, you can just sand them down and, and fill them. Uh, I think I did have a, a one on this uh, uh, flying wing, and I didn't follow my own advice here. <laughs> I didn't have enough glue mixed up. I thought I had enough, so I quickly had to go and mix some more glue up. So so now we're doing the top. Uh, applying the glue to the top of the wing the top's a little bit more awkward because um, we've got uh, the servo horns coming through and we've also got the wires for the servo so as it goes on we need to uh, so it's still basically the same method and what I'm doing now is just cutting some release for the servo horns and then for the wires for the servos where they come through the middle and it's just again smoothing out as best you can so it's just a matter of smoothing out as best as you can and then you probably need to add um, a little bit more glue to the overlap areas I always tend to do that sometimes if you if you have a trouble getting the, the paper to stick in uh, some areas where there's a bit of a curve, what you can do sometimes is just use uh, the glue undiluted, and that tends to be a little more stick and can help. This wing was actually made with my hot wire CNC machine, which you may have seen in one of my other videos, and I'll put a link up if you haven't. And uh, once the wing's cut, you're left with the like the off cuts. And I don't throw them away because they're very handy because uh, they've got the right shape and that for supporting the wing while you're you know, cutting um, uh, slots out for the spars and supporting it while you're rubbing it down. Another method that seems quite popular at the moment is to laminate wings with like a, a, a plastic. And uh, it does look you know quite a good method and uh, and it does add some strength I don't personally I don't think it adds as much strength as this does um, but if you go and check out on the price of this laminate it's quite expensive I mean um, I don't know whether you follow the channel rag the nuts off where with Matt Matt does some good videos and he's got a great channel on uh, laminating and uh, he put some links in for the laminate but you look at it about 40 I think it was a £42 a roll when I last checked, uh, which is probably about you know, $50, $55. Uh, so that um, that works out to be quite an expensive method, and, um, and I do believe it's a heavier method as well. So, you know, with aircraft, <laughs> you know, the lighter you can get it, the better. Now, you can see on this wing now, it's looking quite wrinkled, and you might think, well, I've wasted my time here, but believe me, when it's done, You'll be surprised. Uh, what I'm doing here now is looking for somewhere to hang it, which I should have worked out before I started. So I've just tied the servo wires together and then hung it up there and just trying to get a few more wrinkles out. 
and then off to wash my hands because <laughs> you end up with end up in a right mess. Um, so we just leave it there overnight, and when we come back in the morning um, and have a look at it, it it looks really good. So this is the finished result, and as you can see, there is a little bit of a wrinkle in the left hand uh, corner there, but I did manage to get this out with, without too much uh, uh, filler and that. And then I was pondering how how do I uh, finish this and I used to just paint them but then my wife said why don't you just cover it in solar film and I thought well I've not tried that before so I'll, I'll give it a go and this solar film uh, actually came from Hobby King and it was in, in a, a big roll and because I tend to use quite a lot of white uh, I thought I'd get some and just see what it was, what it was like and, uh, and it was quite cheap for the uh, amount I think I paid something about £8 10 or, 10 or 11 dollars for it and uh, and there's loads of it, and it's it's really good solar film, so I should be getting some more of that. So here's the final result, and I was quite pleased the way it came out. Right. And here's the maiden flight, and she flew absolutely brilliant. I'll put a link to the, I've got a whole playlist for this. Uh, it came about because I crashed my original flying wing. And as I said at the beginning of the video, guys, there's a couple of ways to finish off. And this was a wing I built. Uh, out of the pink foam uh, a few years ago for FPV and uh, again I used the uh, brown paper to cover it afterwards and it sticks the pink foam just as as, as good and uh, and this is it finished in uh, brown paper and it was incredibly strong this wing um, but unfortunately <laughs> it didn't last very long I think the design wasn't quite right and it, it wasn't very stable so but I plan to build another one this year and this is how I finished her off. All I did was use some normal household uh, em emulsion paint and then went over with uh, some water-based varnish and then put the solar trim uh, uh, design on it. And uh, I was quite pleased with the way this came out. Pity it didn't fly very well because it would have been a good FPV ship. But... And here's my faithful Lancaster and that's all covered in brown paper. And that flies really well and I've got some videos of that on the website which I'll link to. And this is another wing that I covered in brown paper and with this wing I did the end tip in balsa just to make it a little bit stronger. And this is actually the wing from a, a Vickers Super VC10 which uh, you may have seen my website which is probably my biggest build so far. Uh, the Hurricane's coming close to that. But this was made before I had my CNC machine, so I just cut all the templates out and then just used a hot wire, which worked quite well. So you don't need a CNC machine, but it's nice to have one. And you can see here where I overlapped and then just filled uh, the edges. And here's the final result. Uh, really pleased with it. <laughs> so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this useful. Uh, it's a method I've used for a, a long time and I tend to use it on most things now because I, I like the fact that it's cheap and it produces a really strong wing and I'll probably continue to use this for many more years. So if you've, uh, if you've liked the video please give us a, a thumbs up and uh, you know, if you'd like to uh, subscribe it all helps. Uh, YouTube are demonetising me now but I don't make a great deal of money off YouTube anyway so I'm not too worried. <laughs>